Okay, so we've got this super awesome podcast room. This is in our brand new office and I've actually never used this before. And I know I need to schedule it because I've got a webinar happening next week. I looked, we don't have a train wheel for this yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and build one. That way, anytime I need this or anyone else needs it in the future, they're gonna be able to have the process. So let's do this, okay? So I'm gonna take my phone here and I'm gonna come out here and I'm literally just gonna record the process. I'm gonna record myself on this phone and then I'll be able to get this into a trainual so that anyone else can do it as well. Okay, so let's walk through the process for reserving the podcast room here. This room right here, Woo, there we go. All right, first of all, I've got to pick next Thursday. That's gonna be the date. And I'm gonna pick the time. It's gonna be next Thursday at 11 a.m. There we go. And I'm gonna pop in the, the title of this meeting. I'm just gonna put in webinar because it's really easy that way. And then hit done. I can select the time. I can select the people who need to be there. Then I just need to select the room. So let's select the room. I'm gonna scroll down to the podcast room. There it is. Just like that. And then I hit save. That was it, super easy. Okay, now I'm gonna take that video, I'm gonna pop it into a trainual and we'll build the process right around it. So now I've got that video that I just recorded of the panel over there, uploaded to Loom, and now I'm ready to add it to my trainual. And you can see I've got this trainual already set up for meeting rooms. And we've got reserving a room, you can see that's what we're looking at here. We've already got some things in here. I've got others, but we didn't have one yet on how to reserve the podcast room. And who knows, maybe Nick next week needs to use the podcast room. If I document this today, he's gonna have a place to go learn about how to actually do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this step. I'm gonna call it reserve the podcast room. And I'm gonna click, use the quick embed here to add that Loom video. And there we go. There's my video. And now, I mean, I could leave it the way it is and be just fine. I can certainly add some text. I can make it look more like one of these other ones that I showed you a few moments ago. But look, this fulfills a big need for us because now anyone who needs the podcast room can come here, watch the video, and they'll be able to know exactly how to reserve the room. Now, this was a really simple, simple step. And in fact, this only existed within one step but I might have some more complicated processes that take multiple steps. It all just comes down to what the needs are and how much content's going to be there. This one is super simple, one step. Now the thing I've always loved about Trainual is that we, Trainual, we use Trainual. We have to use it. This is how we learn how to do things like reserve the podcast room. Without it, we'd be looking around, looking at each other, trying to figure out how to actually do that. The thing about this is that you're documenting these, these simple steps. People forget the little in-betweener steps sometimes. So when you're able to document all the steps and use the right steps, those things don't get missed because they're in a place where everybody can find them. That's the thing that I find so valuable about this. You think about all these processes that you do in your day-to-day in your -day business life, there are things that are multi-step but sometimes those steps get missed. So documenting them out this way is a great way to think through what each of those steps are, make sure those are accurate, and they get those out to the team so that everyone has that source of truth. They've got that place where they can reference and get every single step the way it needs to be done properly. That is a huge value to this. So this is how we solve these types of problems here at Trainual. That was so simple. You saw me, I recorded this little video. I popped it into the trainual. It took me hardly any time at all. And now I'm able to get this out to my team. Super simple, super fast. And it doesn't have to be overly complicated. I mean, this is just a video I recorded with my phone. So this little process that took me just literally minutes to document is going to live in our trainual account forever until we need to change it, of course. But the value of that is look, anyone from here on out is going to be able to find how to reserve the podcast room. And that's gonna live on as long as we need it to. Okay, so how does this apply to you? Well, you saw me, I took this 45 second video and added it to Trainual, and now I've got this process that maybe feels a little technologically complicated, but it's super simple because I put it together in this little step. So think about the things in your office. What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? What are the things that feel a little bit more complicated? If you can break them down simply into simple steps inside a trainual, get those out to your team, you have a long-term solution to helping people understand how to do the things you do. 
That's what we do here at Trainual.